We're not. I said, what? Willie Craven tries to put together the pieces of what happened here at his son's gravesite. I know it was right here when I come. Tom Craven was just 30 years old when he died fighting the 30-mile fire near Winthrop 17 years ago. Willie will never forget the night he found out. My wife starts screaming. He's gone, he's gone. And I know it. Willie built this elaborate memorial to honor his son. Burned out trees from the fire itself, a rock from the place he died. She wanted to be right next to him. Tom rests in peace right next to his mom, who died a few years ago. And when mom passed away, I come up and say, Tom, you got somebody's coming. Been looking for it. I seen you. And that was my wife. This memorial is open to the public. It's supposed to be a place of quiet reflection, a place that reflects Tom's love of the outdoors, with statues of deer and other animals scattered about. But recently, someone came through the cemetery and damaged two of those deer, smashing part of a cement leg and peppering another with what looks like buckshot. Why would somebody do it? You know, and that really hurt. Willie was so upset, he had to be briefly hospitalized for a heart issue. Most upsetting, though, is that Willie didn't build this memorial just for his son. Yeah. It's for all four firefighters who died that day. They disrespect all the fires who were lost their lives in that. One thoughtless, careless act, rekindling the pain of a loss that still burns. In Roslyn, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. <laughs> Willie Craven hopes that someone out there might be able to repair that cement memorial for him. If you can help, we're putting some more information up with this story on king5.com.